Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your daily general message for Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also, we are going to be going live, yes, for real. Uh, feeling a little bit better here with the ear infection. I appreciate all the love, the support for my channel, for understanding, you guys rock. Uh, so we are going to be going live uh, tonight at two, on Tuesday around 7 p.m. You never know what's co who's coming downstairs. So I always say around that time frame, uh, but definitely they will be pre-warned uh, that we are going live. So uh, if you are interested in a question answer during the live, you can prepay ahead of time. We will add you to the list. Uh, get everything situated so that way you are in line for your answer here. Uh, we do go live for approximately three hours, give or take. We answer for the first two questions, so it's best to pay ahead uh, with your question as well. Just email me your question at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com. Let's get started here. A little had to work that in there. So hope to see you there. It's always a fun time uh, going live and interacting with all of you guys. Really fun time. So let's get started. 10 card spread, whomever this is meant for. I did pull in a clarifier for the first card as well as an outcome and uh, three clarifiers. Um, cliff note, there is definitely a power couple here. You could be dealing with earth, but really it's about a balanced situation in regards to the power couple of the king and queen of pentacles here. Uh, so that is a balanced situation. Let's get rocking. All right. Somebody now sees the truth. They are balanced. They are ready to come on back and show the action. Okay. Absolutely. Whereas before with the king of swords here it does represent air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's literally turned looking, kind of debating. Okay. It's kind of like, hmm, should I? Should I not? Should I? You know, should I show that action and show the determination and the passion as well, okay? Uh, but right before that is the Two of Pentacles. There's that wishy-washy energy. They could have definitely cut off communication. Hello, Ten of Swords here. But definitely they had to heal their energy. They had to lower that pentacle down, make a rational, logical decision here in regards to coming back solid with that king of pentacles energy here and communicate and show that action has it been a long time yep um uh, the knight of pentacles is very slow motion it's basically one step up from the hangman in my eyes so it's been a very very long long time to not just regain the balance to make a rational decision here to come on back but i feel that he's turned looking over at that eight of wands so things are picking up in pace is what that says i feel that they are definitely ready after quite some time with the knight of cups here uh that's slow motion you got two nights so this has definitely been a very very slow journey in regards to balance in regards to receiving love because what did they do or what have you uh they cut off communication absolutely they had to calm their energy here do they love you absolutely with that knight of cups but they were kind of tormenting as to, you know, the slowness of, I don't know what to do in regards to cutting off that communication and starting anew. Sorry for the sun. I picked the most appropriate times. Uh, but now I feel that they are seeing the light here. The judgment is a major arcana. It is known for decisions to be made behind the scenes. So spirit has been definitely helping them with their thoughts, pushing them, you know, like a three-year-old with a, or two-year-old with a diaper here, trying to push them up and make them walk towards you kind of thing in regards to their thought process here. It's very interesting energy, I gotta be real. With the judgment here, that's spiritual, and the way that spirit talks to us really is through telepathicness, okay? Uh, I probably just made that ness at the end there. So, but regardless, they hear, they see, they know all kind of thing. They're definitely... Uh, you know, this person is trying to uh, heal their energy, all right, see the light of the situation and take that action. And Spirit's like, yeah, let's do this, you know, trying to encourage them. Now, what's wild is, is that with these two cards, they can hear your thoughts, okay, or they can hear their thoughts, whichever. But definitely, they're guiding them, they see, they hear, you know, the struggle that they're going through as to what to do to show that action. They're guiding them. Let's move it, son, you know, in regards to a new start here. 
I'm feeling um, definite communication. They're showing me the Ace of Swords in my mind, but there's none. So I feel that it's divinely guided as well for them to do that. Look at that. I got a white mustache. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, quite annoying that sun. But they're definitely taking that action, I feel, because here it is. All right, outcome. Nine of Cups. There's that wish fulfillment. Hello, I'm raising that cup of love. All right. Now you see the Eight of Cups underneath him, but they want a new start. They walked away, absolutely, but they're reuniting. They see the truth. They see the, the connection here. They want that new start of love coming on in. And it's facing the Queen of Pentacles. So that's backseas to her, okay? So I really feel with that Eight of Wands and the slowness of it all, this is going to be coming in as a surprise, basically. Not going to be seeing this wish fulfillment coming in because it's behind your energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. And like I said, that is a power couple with the King of Pentacles here. That's nice. That's a balanced relationship ready to move forward here to show the action to get this wish fulfillment. Okay. What's going to happen? Uh, it's going to come in pretty fast. It's going to be a shake-up moment. But with that Ten of Pentacles, that communication, that movement, it's going to balance it all out. With that Ten of Pentacles, Tens are known for completion in regards to total balance. So it may be a little shake-up moment, but once they get talking here, that's why they're showing me that Ace of Swords here, which technically does represent the King of Swords with that communication. I feel that there is going to be a shake-up moment coming in pretty darn fast, but it's going to be smoothed over with that communication. Absolutely. So let's talk Deb, okay? You could, you do have the power couple of the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this is going to be a balanced uh, decision, okay? A balanced re, re, uh, reunion, okay? Between two people here, they are contemplating. They have been contemplating, but now they're solid and they want to show the action and communication, they were kind of deliberating in their mind here, kind of unsure how to go about it. You know, they were a little off balance. They may not have seen that true connection here, but now they do. It's taken them quite some time, but there's definite movement in regards to the Ace of Wands, you know, shining the light, literally, on my chin. Uh, in regards to showing this action here, they were definitely in their thoughts here. They've been planning. They've been strategizing. They've been doubting. They've been wondering, you know, how do I go about doing it? They saw the light. Spirit definitely helped them. You know, they had to take that cool off time and possibly cut off that communication. But they really had to work on their energy first. That's why the slowness with the Knight of Cups as well as the Knight of Pentacles. So all in all, I feel that there is a wish fulfillment coming in. I feel that it's going to be definitely a shock to the system, but she is the Queen of Pentacles. She can handle it. You know, she's very grounded, nurturing, loving energy here. And with that conversation, it's going to ground that energy completely with that Ten of Pentacles. Very nice energy. Long time coming. There is definitely some serious... Uh, Two tens here, there's some serious completions in a good way in regards to the ending mental anguish through this long journey. Could be dealing with a twin, could be dealing with a soulmate, but it's been a very, very long journey here in regards to this situation. So very, very nice energy. I hope that this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also click that bell on the side to get the latest notifications when I do upload a video. Uh, comment down below. Uh, subscribe as well. You guys rock. Be strong out there. If you are interested in that $20 spread, it is rocking. It's only $20. Just email me the person of interest, uh, their first name, no last names necessary, no birthdays, nothing like that. I can just pick up on their energy of that first person's name here of the person of interest, and it will be done within 24 hours. Uh, it is a 10 card spread with outcome and clarifiers. Be safe out there. Please wash your hands, social distance, wear a mask if you prefer. Uh, thanks guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.